history hits the ice. Raphael Toussignon is the first woman to play with Canada's national para hockey team. When I, I started uh, telling people that's my goal, I want to be on the men's team, people thought I was crazy or naive because I was young and like, I'm a woman, they're men, they're bigger. And at the end of the day, I never stopped believing in myself that I could achieve that. Her family believed it too. The first time she tried uh, the, the para hockey, they tell me, in a couple of years, I will be at the Olympics. She told you that? I, yes. she, told, she told us that. She's very far now. <laughs> and the fans know it. I'm very excited that there's a woman on the men's national team. Good evening. Internationally, para hockey welcomes men and women athletes on the same team, on paper. I know that there are, our sport is uh, considered mixed which is kind of, I don't know, <laughs> uh, because only like four, one, like three women went to the Paralympic game so far. So it's not very mixed, so that needs to change. There are many people who hope Toussignan's presence at this championship gets these jerseys at a women's tournament in the 2030 Paralympics. But to qualify, there would need to be at least six global teams by 2025. Right now, there are five. So having RAF competing at this event, we really want those other six nations at this event to recognize women can play, women can compete, go back, develop your women. You look at North America and we've done a great job of really pushing that narrative of uh, equality in sport. And I'm not sure that every other country has taken that same approach. And that's really the challenge right now. Toussignan's focus is on growing the game, but also her own skill set to make the Paralympics in 2026. Get faster, uh, stick in, like, a better shot, like the, the type of thing that we we never stop improving. While Toussignan speeds up her game, her ice time here could speed up equality. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Moose Jaw.